Not all protein is created equal. Some forms are better than others. That's where whey protein comes in and it's actually uh, one of the most well-studied supplements in the world. In this video, I'm looking at what it is, how it works, and how it can help you achieve your health and fitness goals. Whey is actually the liquid part of cow's milk that separates during cheese production. In fact, cheesemakers used to throw it away before they discovered its nutrition properties and commercial value. After being separated during cheese production, whey goes through a series of processing steps to become what people generally recognize as whey protein, a powder that is added to shakes, meal replacements, and protein bars. And this is what whey protein powder typically looks like. Taking whey protein is a convenient way to add 25 to 50 grams of protein uh, on top of your current daily intake. This can be important not only for athletes and bodybuilders, but for those who are underweight and for those who want to lose weight, which I'll get to in a moment. Why whey protein is superior. Proteins are the main building blocks of the human body. They are assembled from what's called amino acids, smaller molecules that are linked together like beads on a string. Now some amino acids are produced by the body's cells while others must be gotten from foods. Now the ones that we must get from foods are termed essential amino acids. Now, proteins that supply all the essential amino acids are best, and whey protein is loaded with them. It's particularly high in important uh, branch chain amino acids like leucine and cysteine. In fact, whey protein is the richest source of leucine. Studies show that leucine is the most anabolic or growth promoting amino acid, particularly for muscle maintenance and growth. This is why whey protein is particularly effective at stimulating growth in humans. Human breast milk is actually 60% whey compared to 20% in cow's milk. Types of whey protein. You should be aware that there are several types of whey protein available. Uh, the difference between them is how they're processed. There's whey protein concentrate, which is about 70 to 80% protein. Uh, it contains some lactose, which is milk sugar and fat, um, and it has the best flavor. Then there's whey protein isolate, which is about 90% protein or higher. Um, so it contains uh, much less lactose and fat and is missing some nutrients found in whey protein concentrate. And then you have whey protein hydrolysate. Now, also known as hydrolyzed whey, uh, this type has been pre-digested so that it gets absorbed faster. It causes um, a 28 to 43% greater spike in insulin levels than isolate. Whey protein concentrate is the cheapest option because it contains some milk sugar and fat. Whey protein isolate is considered the gold standard, however, because it has the highest amount of protein and the lowest amount of milk sugar, which is lactose. Uh, that makes it um, much better tolerated in those who uh, are lactose intolerant, but it comes at a premium price. Additionally, the majority of studies on whey protein, which we're gonna look at now, uh, used whey protein isolate. Effects of whey supplementation on muscle mass and strength. The best known use of whey protein supplements is for increasing muscle mass and strength, and it has been heavily researched. The main effects of whey on muscle and strength are the leucine, which stimulates muscle growth at the molecular and genetic level, and the release of anabolic hormones that can stimulate muscle growth, such as insulin, and the fact it's absorbed and utilized very quickly compared to other types of protein. For example, in studies that compared whey protein with soy protein, uh, the whey protein has usually performed slightly better. In this nine month randomized control trial, uh, the researchers found that even though participants consumed similar calories and protein during resistance exercise training, uh, whey protein supplementation was more effective than soy protein in promoting gains and lean body mass. When compared to casein, which is the other type of protein in milk, um, the evidence is more mixed. Whey appears to be effective in the short term, but casein stimulates muscle growth over a longer period. So the net effect appears to be similar. If you're a bodybuilder or training for quick strength gains, then whey protein is definitely the best option. But if you just want to maintain or, or slowly build muscle mass over a very long period of time, for example, um, an elderly person who is at risk of weight loss, then uh, casein protein is just as good. Whey protein improves satiety and may help with weight loss. It's well known that protein can help with weight loss. This is because it's by far the most fulfilling nutrient compared to fat and carbs. Now taking whey protein is a great way to increase your protein intake, um, which should have major benefits for weight loss if you use it to replace other calories. Studies have shown that replacing other sources of calories with whey protein combined with weightlifting can cause weight loss of about eight pounds or three and a half kilos while increasing lean muscle mass. Research also shows a higher protein intake can boost metabolism and make people automatically eat significantly fewer calories per day. And in this study, eating protein at 25% of calories cut cravings by 60% and reduced the desire for late time snacking by half. At the end of the day, when it comes to muscle gain and weight loss, protein is the king of nutrients and whey protein appears to be the most superior choice. 
Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative and don't forget to subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video.